Here's a wide overview of my urban fantasy shelves. Right at the very top of my uh, urban fantasy shelves, I keep all the anthologies stacked up. And then if we remove them, we get the start of the trade paperback collection of my urban fantasy shelves. Again, some more uh, anthologies. Uh, Colors Lady series, which is definitely not urban fantasy. The Iron Duke. Um, it's more of Mary Janice Davidson books. Vampire, Empire, Mob Rules, uh, Shadow Fae, and it just keeps going up there. Some Jackie Kessler. And then in between the stacks, I've got Rochelle Mead's books. That open space is there for the final book in the series, which I can't wait to get my hands on. C. Murphy's books. And then another stack starts again. Holds those ones up. Chloe Nail. Uh, Adrian Phoenix. Kellen Price. A lot of Jennifer Radon's books. And I gotta stand up and tiptoe here. Got a little bit of everything up there. And now we can move on to the bulk of my shelves. This is the first shelf. Got some Ilona Andrews there. Jennifer Armentrout. Hi. Kelly Armstrong. This is still the first shelf. And you can see I've got some young adults there. Jenna Black, who is one of my favorite authors. Then Patricia Briggs, also another favorite. Got some Jim Butcher back there. This is the second shelf. Meg Cabot's The Mediator series, which is amazing. And then Rachel Kane's books. Then Karen Chance, who writes an amazing series. Then Mary Janice Davidson's books, which always look so gorgeous, they're so colorful. Then Carol Nelson Douglas, who writes a very unique series if you want something different. This is shelf three. Got Jocelyn Drake there. Jennifer Eastup. Hope I said that right. Then Janine Frost. And I do know I have quite a few paranormal romances mixed in but I don't have the heart to move them. And then Yasmin Gilnor's books, and I love the way they look shelved. The girls look so dangerous. Then Colleen Gleason. Drop down to shelf number four. Got Jess Haynes there. Laurel K. Hamilton's Anita Blake series. Charlene Harris. And then another one of my favorites, Kim Harrison. And then Kevin Hearns, The Iron Druid Chronicles. Tanya Huff, Faith Hunter, Jane Yellow Rock Books, Allison James, got El Jasper there. And then the final bookshelf, Stacey Kane, some, some Jackie Kessler, Catelyn Kittredge. Marjorie M. Lou, Cheyenne McRae, I got some of Robin McKenley's Urban Fantasy, Rochelle Mead, Kelly Meeting, Devin Monk, Chloe Neal, Nicole Piller, and then some of Vicki Peterson's. Urban Fantasy shelves continued starting with Vicki Peterson, Marcus Pelgrimus, Adrian Phoenix, T.A. Pratt, Kalina Price, uh, Kat Richardson, Linda Robertson, Diana Rowland, Lilla Santa Crow, Vampire Kisses books, uh, Nilani Sin, I hope I said that right. Singleton's books, 
camera went out, so I hope I've got it in the right spot. Jerry Smith Reddy, uh, Lucy A. Snyder, Gene C. Stein, Anton Strout, Diane Sylvan, Rob Thurman, and then Carrie Vaughn. Still on my Urban Fantasy shelves. This is the books stacked on the outside. Got Carrie Vaughn. Oops. Got Rachel Vincent. Some more Rachel Vincent. Um, Jay Wells. Eileen Wilkes. And then the final last bit. Some more Eileen Wilkes. Alana Williams. And S.L. Wright. Here we are at the beginning of my Paranormal Romance shelves. Got some Laura Adrian there, Jessica Anderson, L.A. Banks, and of course, uh, Anya Bost, who's become one of my favorite authors. Uh, Cresley Cole, totally love her series, they're so addicting. And I do have one of her historical romances there at the end. This is my second Paranormal Romance shelf, first row in. Got some Jacqueline Frank, Laurel K. Hamilton, more Laurel K. Hamilton, uh, Regine Hastings, got some Larissa Ion there, more Larissa Ion, uh, Virginia Cantra, and Catherine. I feel bad I have some with the stickers on still. Uh, Sherilyn Kenyon, Kate McAllister, uh, we got some Karen Marie Moaning there. More Karen Marie Moaning. Pamela Palmer, who writes a really cool cat type shifter novel. Uh, Lee Rowland, Maggie Shane, Gina Schultwater. This is still my second paranormal shelf. Second row in. Let's see. This is Nellie and Sign, Terry Spear, Julia Stone. Drop over. Uh, Sunny, who is my guilty pleasure, Susan Seesmore, uh, Lan Linvel, excuse me, <laughs> uh, way to butcher her name. Of course, J.R. Ward. And then uh, Rebecca York, and then I've got uh, some short stories, another J.R. Ward, another J.R. Ward, Laura Wright, and Claire Wills. Those are obviously out of order. And that's the end of my Paranormal Romance shelf. Alright, we're almost done. Here is my Mercedes Lackey shelves for the Valdemar books. I'm a huge fan, if you can't tell, since so I've dedicated just a shelf to <laughs> shelf all to them. And then... On the very bottom shelf of that bookcase of my Mercedes Lackey books is my shame shelf, where I just pile anything and everything. Stuff I'm kind of borrowing, my borrow books like Sabriel there, and the books I'm thinking about getting rid of. So, <laughs> as you can see, it's my shame shelf. I do have one. And that's it for the book tour.